Now, Chief Meteorologist Brian Davis and your Storm Team 2 forecast. Well, we had heat index numbers up around 100 today, but improving conditions as we go through the evening and the overnight hours. We have a cold front sliding by behind that front. We'll get a nice little drop in temperatures and humidity for the next couple of days. And uh, still expecting some 90s here through about 7 o'clock and then quickly dropping through the 80s, especially as we get closer to sunset with 83 degrees at 9 o'clock. And then your forecast tomorrow morning at 8, 68 sunny skies. We will start off with morning temperature readings in the low to mid 60s and then upper 70s at noon with 85 at 5 p.m. and very comfortable humidity tomorrow. Should be some delightful summer weather. Live Doppler 2 HD, you can see the Miami Valley pretty much back to dry weather now. We still have some showers down in Clinton County, but even around Wilmington, the rain winding down. Looks like uh, we can see Cowan Lake showing up there on Live Doppler 2 HD, so rain out of the campground moving away. Uh, still some strong thunderstorms, though, east of Cincinnati, uh, heading down toward Maysville, Kentucky, down through northern Kentucky tonight if you have a uh, travel plan south on I-75. And we've had some strong thunderstorms over the uh, southeast part of the state, too. So there's a line really starting to get going now uh, from up near Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, back to just south of Cincinnati, and that's advancing southeastward. But back to the west of us, uh, sky conditions beginning to clear out. We'll see a clearing trend as we go through the evening and overnight and get back to those comfortable readings as this cold front continues to drop south. We still have a uh, heat advisory. I want to say excessive heat warning, but it's a heat advisory in effect for the area through 7 o'clock this evening with those heat index numbers near 100. That's for Montgomery, Greene Counties, and points southward, although uh, Clinton County, you've cooled off quite a bit with the rain moving through. Heat index numbers today, uh, we are right now running around 95, and that puts that heat index up at 99. But look at the heat index number tomorrow matching the air temperature. And Friday, even though we're in the upper 80s, the heat index not much different there at 89. High temperatures on Thursday. You can see the low to mid 80s tomorrow, mainly uh, low to mid 80s north, mid 80s elsewhere. And then we jump to the upper 80s Friday, 93 on Saturday, a hot, humid weekend on the way, but then we cool it off early next week and temperatures running pretty close to normal. Uh, time lapse, Bryant Heating and Cooling Systems camera. You can see the uh, rain that moved through earlier this afternoon. And now we're uh, just kind of getting back to those partly cloudy skies, although mostly cloudy to the south. We do have some of the high level clouds off those thunderstorms uh, pushing back up just uh, about to Montgomery County, but no rain expected. 95 at Dayton International, northwest wind at 15 miles per hour, relative humidity 40%. So that combination uh, makes it feel like 99 degrees, but it's much cooler. Uh, Xenia right now 79, 83 Beaver Creek. We had rain here in Moraine and 84, but those mid 90s up around the airport downtown Dayton and uh, low to mid 90s northwest of us. But here comes the cooler air in northern Indiana and that'll uh, continue to swing down in our direction for tonight. So the showers and thunderstorms, they're going to quickly come to an end. We'll see clearing skies tonight down to 63 degrees. Tomorrow, sunny skies, a lot of blue sky, not as warm, less humid, high 85. Just a delightful summer day with a north wind at about 5 to 12. 60 Friday morning, high 88, sunny skies, but here comes the heat and humidity Saturday, 93. 90 on Sunday, scattered showers and thunderstorms. Cooler on Monday, around 80, and then nice weather again on Tuesday, warming up around Wednesday.